I don't care if I'm nauseous, I just want this baby. I'm hungry all the time. Why do you look sad and happy? <laughs> so I just had my first experience vomiting and I vomited in public. This pregnancy legit feels so different. Like this is beginning. So we're back at the shop again. Yeah, we like, went like three times already. That I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna have a miscarriage. Just so many fears in that when like you've been through it before and you know the feelings. I'm praying for our baby. Praying constantly for protection. And that the baby's still healthy even though I'm sick. Good morning. So um I thought sorry, my dog wants a cuddle. <laughs> I thought I would film my first trimester. I've seen some videos where people film their first trimester. And I feel like the first trimester is like the most complicated one and the scariest one to go through. And the like you feel very sick and lots of stuff and like you get a lot of symptoms. And then everyone often finds out when like you're done with that stage and it looks all glamorous and stuff like that. I'm five weeks pregnant right now. No one knows, only Michael and I know. We found out last Saturday. I'm so excited to make it past six weeks because so we actually had a miscarriage at 10 weeks or it was like close to 10 weeks. It was like nine and a half weeks. And then the second time we had a miscarriage at like five and a half weeks or something like that. But yeah, so like it's really nice to get past those dates because it feels like a bit of a milestone. I feel most confident with this pregnancy. I feel like because we had like a gap of time where we weren't trying and we were waiting for our gynecologist appointment which we had just after actually on, we had on the same day which our baby was meant to be due for the first time we got pregnant so the 27th of February yeah I don't know I guess I just wanted to update what's happening my feelings right now I feel pretty positive and I feel really like it feels really nice not telling anyone early like we only told people early last the first time the second time we didn't tell anyone until we had the miscarriage but yeah I'm so excited because like I really feel like this is going to be our baby and we're going to have this baby and <laughs> it's actually going to be due the first week of November which is literally my birthday my birthday is the 8th of November and like the calculated due date that I calculated online is the 2nd of November and most people that have like a baby for the first time are a little bit like late so literally the baby could be born on the exact same day as my birthday which would be kind of crazy be cool if it's a girl and we like have a birthday together if it's a boy i don't know i don't know i mean any anything's fine um we're just so excited to be pregnant i've been experiencing some symptoms so i've been getting like that like period pain cramp and like while i've been at work like i've been like feeling it and there was one time when it was so strong that i was like oh my gosh like i'm gonna have a miscarriage and like there's so many fears in that when like you've been through it before and you know the feelings um but it didn't progress like the pain didn't progress and i didn't see any blood so i was like thank the lord <laughs> and it's like I don't know it's like so nerve-wracking yeah I don't know I feel really excited yeah I don't know I feel like it's a boy like I keep thinking it's a boy like the last pregnancy I like was like it's definitely a girl and we didn't find out the gender but this time I'm like I feel like it's a boy I'll soon see if my feeling is correct <laughs> the mother intuition but yeah I feel fine I've always felt fine every time I've gotten pregnant um like only like small symptoms the only thing like my chest re is really really sore which I actually didn't experience that um in the first time or the second time until like later on in the pregnancy this has happened really quick like I've been getting symptoms more quick but I feel fine as well like I just feel extremely tired I've been like napping a lot and especially in um, the first week after we found out within the between four weeks and five weeks I, I was just napping a lot and like really tired like today this very day I don't feel as tired but like that's just because it's a different day but gassy <laughs> I'm feeling gassy I think progesterone makes you feel like gassy because everything's like loosening up or something I don't know I've been feeling really confident not to google things all the time so I think that's helping me to stay calm and be like fine the first two times 
I was just like googling constantly and because I have all the knowledge now I don't have to google anything so it's pretty chill oh I've been so bloated and so I've been like trying to hide it today it's gone down a little bit but I will show you like how much I am bloated but I wish I took a photo on the weekend because it was so bad like literally Mike was like you looks like literally out of your first trimester pregnant <laughs> I don't know if this is like TMI but I love knowing like this sort of stuff like you know how you're meant to get like different colors of like discharge I've been getting like that white discharge which is cool because like every time I look down I'm like oh my gosh like that's so cool that I'm getting symptoms I said to God I was like I really want to get symptoms as a sign like help me feel tired I don't care if I'm nauseous I just want this baby um because like previously like I've just felt completely normal and like that scared me and like it's normal to feel like that too but I guess I just want to feel like something's happening. Sorry about our bedroom. <laughs> we haven't been sleeping in here because it's been, all the windows are shut and we can't seem to open them. Like it's not as bad today. Like this kind of looks a bit more normal, um, but it was like literally like, it was literally like out here. That is the bloat. So I got back from work a couple of hours ago. This is the first symptom I have felt where I, I've actually never felt this before. And I'm like, sometimes I'm like, is it in my head? But like, I've been repulsed all day by different smells. Well, I was working for 10 hours today and there were so many different smells I smelled. I just couldn't stand it. Um, Michael just got home. That, that was weird. And I'm not even six weeks pregnant yet. I'm like close to six weeks pregnant. <laughs> but that was a weird experience. <sighs> it's like, I don't know exactly what time it is. I'm just so tired. I'm still in the five week pregnant mark. Tomorrow will be six weeks. Last night I updated you guys like that. I felt nauseous for the first time yesterday. I'm just so tired, like so tired. Oh, I just don't wanna do anything today. Like I literally got up this morning at the normal time I get up. Made breakfast, ate breakfast. Say goodbye to Michael, like spent time with God. Put a load of washing on and then i was like i'm done i just want to lay down and nap oh. and it was only like nine o'clock i think i slept for i think i slept for 30 minutes and like i know i just need to get up and like go throughout my day but i also want to listen to my body and like give my body rest if that's what the baby needs as well but man i could just sleep hey Yesterday I worked like a 10 hour shift and I was just so tired the whole time. Just, it was so weird because like every smell just like, I don't know, made my gut, the pit of my stomach just bleh. It was just not nice. Um, And like part of me thinks I'm like being dramatic, but I felt like that the whole day. This morning I kind of felt a little bit of like that, but then I ate breakfast and I felt fine. It's so weird for me because I've been so motivated recently. I've been like working like so much and I've been like editing and getting content out, feeling like really motivated. Literally made a video on how motivated I feel. And then obviously we're pregnant and now I don't feel motivated. Um, I am really excited though. Six weeks tomorrow. I'm so excited to be six weeks. I literally, I literally got ready, got dressed, started filming a reel. It's not that big of a process, but I am so tired that I can't finish it. I like got to a point where like, I, cause I'm filming a reel of like flowers and I'm putting a vase together and I couldn't find the right vase. And I was like, this decision is making me so tired. I'm just, I've never, I've never felt this unmotivated and tired. And I'm looking at my week being like, how, how am I meant to get anything done? And I've barely done anything. This fatigue is like really real. That's all I can say. You saw I was sleeping on the couch before. I don't know if I mentioned I was meant to be filming a reel. I did mention that, but I 
did the reel, I made the bouquet. Looks pretty good, but oh my gosh. The first time we got pregnant, I did not experience nausea. I did not experience extreme fatigue. I experienced fatigue, but like not extreme where I, like I literally have to stop what I'm doing and just go have a nap. This pregnancy legit feels so different. And like, I'm very grateful, but whoa, I did not expect to like feel like completely not myself. Like you hear it all the time, but, and I feel like this is just the beginning. <sighs> um, and I also wanted to share with you my first time I noticed, the while I have a bit more energy right now, because like before I was literally laying in bed, probably like five and a half weeks pregnant. That night we went to, oh, um, we went to, oh, um, sorry. Uh, that night we went to living rooms, which is like our church life group. We have like a dinner beforehand and everyone brings food and it's really like nice and wholesome. I was like looking at everything, I'm like, can I eat that? Can I eat that? Can I eat that? And it was fine, everything I could eat, which was good. But when we were going, I was like eating and I was like fine eating. That was not a problem. Sometimes there's like lots of leftovers and people like take away leftovers from the dinner. And so Michael's like, oh, I'll pick up that. And I picked it up and I looked at it and I was like, mm. like I, I just looking at it and like thinking of the smell, I just went like, oh no. And I didn't want to pick it up. I picked it up anyways, but I thought, whoa, that was weird. What was that? I just thought that in my head and I told Michael in the car and I was like, this thing happened and was kind of weird. So that was my first sign. I guess this is where I need to like look up like tips on how to fight nausea. I know you have to eat frequently a little bit. I think I need some crackers or something. And I heard something about ginger or a, for a wild journey. I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. Okay, so oh, this is no way. right now I don't know what this footage is for but I really this is crazy <gasps> wow I had a big feeling oh my gosh this is the happiest news ever can I show you something wow. can I show you something this is sure. a letter from Joshua Steph yeah why do I have a feeling I know why do I have a feeling just I read know it. it is just read it Michael and Bridie. Have you read it? Yes. Oh, I've seen one of these cards before. Whoa. Michael and Bridie, thank you for being such fast and dear friends to us over this last year. We are so grateful for your friendship, your love, and your prayers. And so we wanted to share an answer to prayer with you. We're 11 weeks pregnant. <laughs> wow. I told That's, you. Yeah, you were saying that. I was saying the two salmons. Yeah. That is a pregnancy yeah, thing. Yeah, you called Literally it. Josh called you out, Steph. Yeah. And Bridie had tired. Guessed. Yeah, that's true. And, and there were some other things that we noticed. Wow, so they actually got pregnant so quick yeah. after that. That's incredible. It was actually the time that we were trying, but then I got my period that month. But wow. But we were the exact same. Wow, that's so good. I know. Thank you for believing with us and sharing your heart and story. We know that there are complex emotions wrapped up in this journey for you, so we wanted to make sure that you had the space to process your emotions privately before needing to publicly. Wow, that's very sweet that very they wrote sweet. us this. But we, also, I would have, wouldn't have mind if they told us. Yeah. I, I was actually going to say the other day, oh, like when one of us gets pregnant or whatever, I don't mind if you tell me in person. Yeah. Because I knew like people get like iffy or like what to do and stuff. And I was thinking about saying that, but I didn't say it. I forgot to say it. Mm. But it would have been funny if I did because she would have been like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they've been implying that they're not. Yes, they have. Yeah. Been. Yes. But Josh has been giving away so many things. Yeah. So many things that he's been saying. I'm like, Josh, if you are, if she is pregnant, you literally, like he kept saying, oh, Steph's been going to bed at 8.30 at yeah, night. And I was like, so Josh, true. why would you say that? Like, I would know all those things. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah. He really gave it away. <laughs>
We know that you'll be so happy for us, but even in this short time so far, I've held these mix of emotions side by side as I grieve for friends and their loss and their challenge amongst the beauty. These feelings coexist and that's okay. We're continuing to pray and support you through your journey and we're so excited to hear of your miracle soon. Big love, Josh and Steph. What do we do? What? Do we tell them? No. Are you sure? We write, we write them a letter in their letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I can't, I don't know what to do. It's so easy, you just don't tell them. It's what, what do I message them congratulations? Yeah. And that's it? Yeah, of course. What are you going to do? Tell them and then be the first people was, to know? I was going to drive. Yes. <laughs> that's terrible. No, it's not. Because literally, like, isn't that crazy? Crazy, but it's not like- I was gonna drive to their house, say don't go to the gym, drive to their house and tell them because, and they're just gonna have to keep the secret, but- Nah. What? Why would you feel so compelled to tell them? Because it's so cool that we're pregnant at the same time. Yeah, you can wait another five weeks to do that. Oh my gosh. It's not hard, bub. What do just fake it and she's like, I'm so sorry, I I yeah, had that's to amazing. write that letter and I was like, oh, it's okay. I'm like, what do I do? Yeah, exactly what you just did. No, 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 Michael. Ugh. I can't do that. You can. You can't not do it, so. Why, why didn't we get pregnant at the exact same time? Now I have to hold the secret. I don't yeah. want to hold it. Pretty cool that they're pregnant though, hey? Yeah. Yeah. I was so excited to go there and tell her. What am I meant to do? I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. Well, you can. Why? Because you can't tell them first. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So I just had my first experience vomiting and I vomited in public on a bus. Um, I'm walking to my car now, but it was so, it's such a funny story. I can tell you when I get in the car. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe that happened. Oh. So I'm in my car now. Um, I just came back from a work conference and we had lots of food at the conference and that was fine. But when I was like starting to feel like quite nauseous, especially towards the end because everyone was having coffee and I hated the smell of the coffee. I might just turn, just turn my car off. I hated the smell of coffee it was making me so nauseous i was like why does every single person in this room have a coffee in their hand because it was free coffee and i was just like oh my gosh and so i went outside took a breather and then i went back in and then i had to get home and because the conference was in the city i had to catch a bus home and i parked my car nearby yeah anyways i was on the bus and I was so close, one more stop until I was home. And I felt so nauseous. I, I've never, like, I haven't vomited in a very, very long time. I was like thinking, I wonder what it's gonna be like if I do end up vomiting. But I was sure that I wasn't gonna vomit in this pregnancy. I was like, I'm sure I'm gonna be one of those people that just have nausea. To be honest, after the fact, I prefer vomiting after because it takes away the nausea feeling and at least I have a little bit of a breather. But yeah, I was just so nauseous in the bus and like the bus driver was doing a good job at like not going over too many bumps. But then I just was like, I can't stand any small turn, any small bump. So I put my head between my knees and I knew I had to be at the front so I wouldn't get nauseous sitting at the back. And thank goodness I was because there was much more space in the bus at the front. I literally like put my head down and I just felt it and then I vomited all over the floor and everyone was like are you all right are you all right and then like they were like so kind and I told them that I was seven weeks pregnant they were like oh congratulations and I was like it's my first time vomiting and like oh and then like it was actually so sweet like not many ladies were like saying anything 
maybe because like they haven't had kids before or whatever all the men that like have families and stuff they were all like oh my wife went through that like it's such a hard time the first trimester but you'll get through it's only a couple more weeks and like it's not gonna be forever and like that was just so sweet and I was just like, oh my gosh, they're so kind. Well, I felt like so a part of community and like that people cared. I don't know. That was just really sweet. Feel good now. But I'm going to get home and tell Michael the story. He's going to be like, what, you vomited? Oh gosh, I'm so tired. How do women do this? I don't know. How do people have more than three kids? I don't think I could only do this three times. Something that I thought, like, straight away when I vomited, I was like, huh, ticking off the list, another sign that I'm really pregnant. Like, <laughs> I'm actually getting symptoms, like... So that was kind of, like, reassuring for me, which sounds so bad, but, like, I actually was happy that I vomited. I was like, whoa, I'm, like, I'm, like, pregnant. <laughs> it's, like, confirming, you know? Like, I don't know. It's kind of comforting. Anyways, I'm gonna go home. I'm getting hot in this car. Ugh, let me have to go out tonight. Ah, uh, no one knows that I'm pregnant, so I have to go. I hate this. I need to tell everyone. We're probably going to tell people at, like, 12 weeks. <sighs> so hard hiding it. Anyways, that's my rant. Seven weeks. Vomited at seven weeks. So today has been a really, really difficult day and yesterday afternoon so i talked to you yesterday and after i vomited on the bus and from then onwards i got a fever and i vomited a lot and i couldn't keep any food down um and it that just kind of worries you as like you're in your first trimester, you're meant to have food so that you can feed the baby. The worst thing to do is to get gastro, and that's what I got. I thought it was just from nausea, but it turns out I got gastro, and that's why I was vomiting. Well, like, I, w I have been nauseous just from pregnancy, but, like, I think when, when you're pregnant and you have nausea and all that sort of stuff and then you get sick on top of it it's just like 10 times worse and yeah so i had a fever and all that and t all of today thank goodness it's a saturday because i don't know what i would have done without michael um helping me out um literally i laid on the couch all day long and i only ate like like i had cold pasta just pasta spirals and I had one spiral per every two minutes like I would literally have a couple mouthfuls of food every hour but my stomach was so hungry but I was so scared of like not being able to keep everything down because I want the baby to be fed anyways I'm finally like eating a little bit more I was difficult to have dinner Michael made a really nice dinner and um maybe because of all the smells and stuff it was like a filipino dish that's like soupy and gingery and which is really good for like nausea ginger is um so it was good and i'm sure it had a uh, lots of nutrients so that's really good but i don't know i struggled to eat the veggies in it and just the flavors strong flavors for some reason the only thing i have been able to eat little bits of and now i'm actually eating a whole piece um is honey on bread <laughs> uh, for some reason i can eat sweets over savory i don't know why like i'm able to eat this fruit it's a persimmon persimmon i don't know how to say it anyways the person you're seeing right now is a big difference before i literally couldn't even speak i was just so sick <sighs> yeah it's just sad because like today was meant to be a fun saturday because we finally had like not an event on because I swear we've had an event on for like every single weekend for the whole entire year so far. So I was really looking forward to this weekend and just like spending it sick is just not ideal. I'm very grateful for Michael though. Literally he he's just been cleaning the house and cooking and making whatever I request that I feel like I can eat and then I don't eat it. 
surely this is the worst part of pregnancy and praying over our baby praying constantly for protection and that the baby's still healthy even though I'm sick and I'm excited to have a good day tomorrow I feel like I will have a better day tomorrow anyways well ignore my hair hey buddy I know this is the most active mommy has been in a long time um hello i am just updating you on how everything's going it is my day off today usually i do editing content i have not been making content because of how sick i've been i'm finally feeling like a little bit better let's see how long this lasts i just was like i'm gonna get up i'm gonna shower and I need to eat and I'm going to do some stretches and eat I'm hungry all the time but the last thing I want to do is eat work that out but the only thing I've been able to stomach is fruit and bread and that's it and I really really try to get veggies in me it's just so hard I've noticed fresh vegetables is much easier for me to eat because it doesn't have that weird smelly smell last night i ate cucumber like this much of it but plums literally i have no aversion to these and i'm so excited about it i'm trying to feel make myself feel normal i'm trying to do mind over matter i'm actually okay and i think i am a little bit i'm trying to like not like there's a lot of anxieties that come from this first trimester you get a food aversions and then you don't want to see that food you don't want to smell that food you don't want to touch that food and then you have all these like little finicky things that's going on and you just don't want to be around anything you can't do anything and even like swallowing has become like a little thing of mine um like i have phlegm all the time i need to spit out i don't know but um i'm trying to like teach myself it's okay to swallow my phlegm feel excited when i do it and proud of myself so i'm teaching myself that may have been something i struggled with but i don't have to continue to struggle with it because i'm struggling with too much at the moment and i don't need to struggle with everything at the moment i'm getting a little bit overheated i'm not sure if i'm going to stretch anymore but i'm talking that's a good thing i am seven and a half weeks to this day this is exactly two weeks of feeling nauseous. I don't know how women do it. It's not fun. I really need to lie down. Anyways, to cut this short so I can go lie down. I'm proud of myself. I showered myself. I washed my hair and my headache's gone now. What's been helping me, I think, is I had this, um, the Black Moors ginger calming seasickness nausea tablet thing. Um, as a pregnant woman, you can only have two a day, um, but I think it's working. I think that's why I've been able to shower myself and actually sit up because before I could not sit up. I'm now more than halfway through my first trimester and I'm so happy about it, but I've got so long to go. I'm just praying that I don't feel nauseous all the way through because I don't know how I'm going to hide it. I literally can't see anyone. I feel sick all the time. <laughs> Hi, Baba. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm crying because you're so kind. And what are you laying on? Um, <laughs> I'm laying on a makeshift bed so I can be with you and not vomit while standing up. Right next to the kitchen. Yeah. And the, <laughs> the entry door and Miles' bed. Yeah, Miles is sleeping with me. Why do you look sad and happy? Because I am sad and happy. Pregnancy is not a joke. 